In this layout update video, we'll look at the main station installation and new details in the switching yard. Hello and welcome to a layout update tour. Yeah, it's true, it's the annual layout update video. Yo, this year I've, I've mainly been working with three things. <laughs> it's been adding catenary, that's the overhead wire for, for the main lines. I've been working with the, with the main station, with the roofs and everything there, and the switching yard. And we're gonna start this layout tour by adding the final detail in the switching yard. I was looking for something special to finalize my yard and then I found these hydraulic damped buffers which are uh, produced by a company in Germany called Modellbahn Union. So I ordered three of them. Look, they spring back when the, you push the cars into it. They also have a larger version of this uh, buffer which is uh, even more raw looking. Yeah, I really love this one, but this one was a bit too big for, for my yard. So I, I decided to go for, for the smaller. All you need to do is to paint these. And before that, I just wash this uh, in soap and water using a toothbrush to wipe off any grime or, or grease from the surface. Then I'm going to hit this one with a primer. This is a one shot MIG white primer it's a acrylic based primer from mig yeah i tried a range of different primers they don't stick very well this one does so i'm using it throughout all of my paint works now thin it a bit with a airbrush thinner and then add the primer inside now before painting i also remove the push back spring from the buffer just in case so, all right time to hit this one with the primer in total i primed it uh, three times with three very thin layers and let them dry somewhat in between so this is what it looks like now time for some mig yellow paint so and i'm airbrushing this on as well just to make sure to get a uniform distribution of the yellow paint. This is what it looks like when they're done. Now it's time for those hydraulic parts. They will be painted with the Humbrol Metal 191. I put a few drops of this uh, Humbrol paint on my mixing board, then a few drops of turpentine just to thin it somewhat so it floats nicely over the surface then it's just to paint all of the parts which should be in metal paint i painted everything twice two layers of that 191 then i paint the rubber part of the buffers in black here i'm using mig black paint acrylic paint let that dry then time for some weathering this is a uh, burnt umber brown pastel chalk and I just grind some powder off that chalk and dip a makeup applicator this one I picked up at Hennes and Maurits just dip the tip so you get some of that powder onto the applicator and then apply that in vertical streaks both on the sides front rear and on top and uh, reassemble the spring check the function and then fix the hydraulic buffers to the track using a drop of fast set glue. Yeah, ready for some testing. Here comes the heavy train with tanks from Hamburg, which arrived this night. See how nicely it springs back and soften the stop against the buffer. Really nice. Let's check out when this uh, train arrived this morning. The theme for my layout is basically Swedish 50s, but I'm cheating somewhat also running some German steamers. This will be the first train entering the finalized yard, my switching yard up in Tullinge. 
This train, which is pulled by a BR-50, passes over the tall stone arch bridge. The BR-50 will here be replaced and sent back to the locomotive station for maintenance and refill. Meanwhile a BR-44 is rolled out on the turntable, ready to take over. The night time is the right time for long and massive freight trains, but when dawn breaks it's time to get started on the passenger traffic. For this day I have selected Swedish theme. Here's the D109 with its uh, wooden exterior. Alright, so that was the passenger traffic. Let's have a look in the yard and see what's going on there. A T44 diesel engine is switching a set with stake cars full of timber for the sawmill at Winkelboda. I have now also added some details to the surroundings around the station, like this bent concrete wall with its integrated illumination. I have connected the signals to the traffic control system, so they show the valid aspect. Sometimes you cannot help yourself buying some really nice looking freight cars just because they look so nice. These are shims from definitely the wrong era, but they look so right. Well, that was the layout tour on the new environments on the layout. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable the little bell and you will get a notification once the next video gets published. Until that happens, see ya!